List Builder could compete for BFF material if you know how to use it right because it is extremely powerful. It contains all data points from pretty much everything that happens at your dealership, which is why it should be kept under lock and key. In my opinion, only system admins should have access to List Builder for that reason. In order to make the most out of List Builder, you'll need to make sure that your staff keeps updated records of everything that happens with their opportunities, or your list will be inaccurate. Unfortunately, it's like they say, garbage in, garbage out. So coach your staff on the importance of keeping dealer socket up to date with the minimal details, and your list will become one of your most powerful marketing weapons. To find the list builder, you need to click on the pie chart icon located on the left of your screen to expand the menu and then click on Marketing Tools. Scroll down and click on List Builder. This will open a separate window with the List Builder parameters. On this page are many important sections to be aware of, and here are some of the more important ones. Query Category. This is where you define the specific information you're looking for. Summary. This is where all the parameters are laid out once they're defined. Remove Duplicates. It's on by default, and recommend that it stays that way. Record count is where you tally the total number of returned values. Run is how you activate the query process once you're done defining the data parameters. Let's have a more detailed look at the categories of data as this section is the most important to understand. Selecting the wrong parameters will return the incorrect values and waste your time. The customer's category matches data in the customer record as seen from the contact dashboard. The events category matches data in sales, service, or Q&A events as seen from either employee dashboard or contact dashboard. The vehicles category matches data about vehicles that have been sold and or are serviced by your dealership. The quotes category matches data about vehicles of interest in your sales events. Once a vehicle of interest is attached to an event, Additional data about it comes from Inventory Manager and Asking. As a rule of thumb, you would never use the Quotes category with the Vehicle category in the same query as they represent completely different things. For example, you would use the Quotes field to compile a list and target internet customers who have shown interest in a specific make and model but had not yet purchased a vehicle. By comparison, the Vehicles field could be used to pull a list of current service customers who are driving a very specific make and model combination so you can target them with a new vehicle campaign. Understanding how different these categories are will help you immensely. The service details category matches data about services rendered to vehicles as seen in service events on the service details tab or in service scheduler. The customer summary category matches data in the summary section of a customer's record as seen in the contact dashboard. The communications preference category matches data from the preferences group of the communications summary page seen from customer records. The deal trades category matches trade vehicle data from the sales event page in contact dashboard, event summary page in employee dashboard, or the trades page in desking. Each CRM deal can have up to three trades. Now that we've covered the basics, let's create a sample list. In this query, I'll be targeting customers that were looking at Chevy Silverados for the past six months that have not yet purchased according to the information added to DealerSocket. A best practice is always to start with the customer category, choosing entity ID and making that greater than or equal to zero. This parameter pulls all of your customers into the query and from here, we will refine the list. Don't forget to click Save. At this point, it is always a good idea to click on Record Count so you can see if the query is working. If you get a zero, it means that something is broken and you may need to call DealerSocket support for help. However, 99.9% .9 of the time, you will get the accurate record of how many customers are on your DMS. One very important thing worth mentioning is that you only really need to match one item from each category in order for all sub-parameters to be included on your list. 
you don't need to get into every single item because it's a lot easier to sort the data once you export it to Excel. If you decide to be extremely specific with your category parameters, you run the risk of excluding data points and reducing the amount of total records returned. This will make more sense later on. I'm a big fan of repeating the same step we've just covered under the customer's category by selecting event ID instead of entity ID under the events category. As a rule of thumb, you should always click on record count to see how your query is doing. The total number of return records will help you determine what to include in your query to maximize the return. Next, we need to look at the date range. My example calls for the most recent six month period. So I would click on insert date from the same events category and could either select greater than or equal to a date six months back from today or give an actual date range by opting for the between parameter and inserting the dates there. Let's use this option for the example and simply change the start date to April by adding the fourth month to the start date range. At any given point, should you choose to modify an entry, you can click on the garbage bin icon next to each query parameter to delete it and add a different one. I vote to never click on clear page as you will wipe everything off and have to start from scratch. The last thing I want to do in the events category is to select all unsold records. To do this, scroll down to the sales status and instead of grouping all values with the help of the control key, I would take the not in box and simply select the six dash sold status. Either way works. Make a note that I opted to keep all seven dash lost customers because I feel there is always opportunities there. It doesn't hurt to include them in my opinion. Now select quotes, scroll down to make and click is like Chevrolet. The is like is called an operator and I will cover operator basics in a separate video. Do the same thing for model and select is like Silverado. Run a count and you can see that your results have narrowed down significantly from about 64,000 to just under 1,000. Let's keep going, we're almost there. At this point, you could try to refine it a bit further and see if a trim parameter could return a more accurate result. The trim is a tricky one because VIN decoders may not represent trim for your brand, so this is a hit and miss category, but worth a try in my opinion. The more you can do now, the less you will need to do later in Excel, for example. As you can see, this did not work in this case, so I'll just click on the garbage bin icon to delete the entry and I'll refine this list further in Excel if we decided to export it there. Now I check back on my query parameters to make sure I've got it all, and when I'm happy with it, I click on the run button. It might take a few seconds for the data to load, but eventually it does and you'll see a fully populated list, just not blurred like mine. From here, the best practice is to click select all and then decide what to do next, as you have a few options. I typically export it and open it in Excel to further refine the data before printing lists for the sales staff to follow up with. You can also choose to send an email blast by clicking the send email button and following the prompts. For this step, however, you need to have a document template already set up because you cannot use your typical email template. You can also automatically enroll these customers into another marketing campaign or do a call blast. From here it is up to you on how to proceed, but take the time to play around to understand how each category and parameter pull different data and you'll be a list builder ace in no time.